Hello everyone, it's Vampy Cat here, and welcome to the first episode of Elden Ring. Ooh, <laughs> the music just got really intense for the intro. I don't think this game really needs that much of an introduction. Everybody in the world practically has been waiting and waiting for this game to release. I'm super looking forward to it based both on the hype and the amazing reviews that have been coming out so far. Something about this game just seems so interesting to me, although I haven't been a super huge FromSoft fan in the past. Not that I ever, like, disliked the games, they just weren't necessarily always my style. I usually tend to prefer games that have more of, like, an outright story. Although I do have so much respect for From Software because they always release games that work well on day one, which should be like a given, but considering how many games have been coming out lately that the first day they are a buggy mess, I've always super respected From Software for making games that work consistently and putting out good quality products. So even though I haven't played many of those games myself, I have a lot of respect for the company and I'm really excited to try out Elden Ring. Something about a story written by George R.R. R. Martin and the whole open world concept being brought to a FromSoft game just really seemed interesting to me. So despite not playing many From Software games, I have really, really been looking forward to Elden Ring. I do want to preface this playthrough by saying, though, that since I don't have a lot of experience with FromSoft games, I'm not going to be, like, as innately good at Elden Ring as I'm sure a lot of people who have played every FromSoft title are. So please be patient with me as I try to learn the mechanics of the game and pick up the basics early on. It might be slow going, but I'm really going to try my best to figure out how to play this game and, I guess, get good. <laughs> I really have only played, like, a couple of hours of Dark Souls 1 back in high school, so I really have almost no experience with FromSoft, but I'm excited to try this out, and I'm excited to learn. So, we're gonna start this journey together, and I can't wait to see what's in store for me. So, all that being said, Let's just jump into the game. Oh. Okay. I think I'm gonna pick Vagabond because I really wanna use a hammer because I really like hammers. I don't know if that's a bad decision in a FromSoft game or not. <laughs> But I kind of want to try that out. I'm assuming that strength would be pretty important for a hammer class. So this class has quite a bit of strength and it seems like it has good stats in some of the other ones as well. Like vigor, I'm assuming has to do with health. You can tell how little I know about FromSoft, but... I like the stats on this one. It seems pretty well-rounded, and I think this one will be a good choice to start out. So let's go for that. Let's go with type B body. Um, of course, we are going to be Rena. Okay, I'm going to go with the Crimson Amber Medallion because it increases max HP. I don't know if... This is a stupid choice or not because I have looked up nothing about this game and I know nothing really about Dark Souls games. So based on my limited knowledge, I'm going to pick this. If that's a bad choice, I apologize in advance. Okay, um, let's choose a base template. Ah, I like Nightfolk. The features of those known as Nightfolk, few in number, they were said to bleed silver long ago. I feel like Nightfolk sounds very, like, vampire-y, so I think I'm gonna go with that. And then Young Voice 1 is fine. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm good with the blue skin, like the silvery blue skin. I think that looks very pretty. 
Actually, I quite like this hair as well. That's perfect. So give me that. I don't really need so strong of a luster. Ah, I can change to have different colored eyes. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> I think I like this. I just spent a really long time making that character. But I think I like the way she looks right now. She looks the most similar to how I generally make my characters as I could possibly make her. She's got the two different colored eyes. She's got the dark reddish hair. And she's got the scar over her eye. So I'm very satisfied. I think she looks cute. I'm gonna go with this. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then we put on the armor and you can't see her in the first place. But you know what? It's worth it because I know that she looks cute and that's all that matters. Maybe it'll allow me to like hide the helmet as well. That would be awesome. So let's start the game with this character. Here we go. The fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. Is nowhere to be found. Okay, we've got a missing queen. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Okay, so I'm guessing we have to kill all of the demigods to get the shards and put the ring back together? Taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. That's a really cool image. A war from which no lord arose. So the pieces of the ring must must drive them mad. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. of the Badlands, the ever-brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater. Are these all the people we're gonna have to fight? And Sir Gideon Ophnir, the all-knowing again bless a tarnished of no renown well that would be us cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the elder And become the Elden Lord.
Okay. Here we are. Let's see. We have jump. Okay, I can't do anything with that yet. Okay, there's a back step slash dodge. Let me break everything in the room. Okay. Shield. Okay, shield, parry, swing, and that looks like a like a heavy attack. So this is the light attack. Heavy attack. Okay, 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 okay. I'm learning, I'm learning. Let's pillage the remains. Tarnished wizened finger. And let's uh, read the message. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. I shall. My roll is very slow. I'm assuming that's probably because I'm wearing heavy armor. Let's move forward and see if I get wrecked immediately or not. Oh, this is pretty. Chapel of Anticipation. Well, I am definitely anticipating a lot. Do I just jump? That's really all I can do, so let's take a leap of faith. If I die immediately- <laughs> Okay, first death. I don't know what I expected. I feel like, um, I feel like they did that on purpose because it makes you look like you should jump there. Ah, wait, was this here before? Did I just miss that because I was too busy looking at all the pretty lights? Oh my god, look at this tree! That is gorgeous. Please tell me I'm not the only one that made that mistake. It looks like it wants you to jump. I swear to god, they must have done that on purpose just to troll, but I kind of support that. I support that. Okay, so first death is out of the way. Let's not jump off any more cliffs. Let's, um, let's not go that way. Let's go straight across the bridge. I love all, like, the pretty, um, I don't know if they're, like, leaves, because it looks like they're leaves from this tree, I would think, um, but I like the little golden leaves just floating around. It's such a pretty atmosphere that I feel like you don't see it that much in, in like, the Dark Souls games or Bloodborne because those games have a very, like, dark color palette, which there's nothing wrong with that, of course. That's just, like, the style of the game. But I, I do really like the nice colors and, like, the gold. It stands out so well against, like, the kind of muted color palette of the rest of the environment. It's really pretty. Okay, we've already got a fog wall, and we've already got a boss? Whoa, whoa! Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, I'm so slow. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think that was supposed to kill me. I think that was supposed to kill me. Considering there's a cutscene. So I don't think I'm doing as bad as I as I thought when I just got immediately wrecked. I mean I have to get used to the slow speed of the dodge. <gasps> Ooh! Do we already get the mount? <gasps> Pretty horse! It's like a horse goat! Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. Uh. 
Is this the lady who can help me level up my stats? One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. It's gonna be me. I'm seeking the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. I'm already very pleased with the amount of like story that's been included so far. I think Elden Ring is definitely going to be more my style than some of the other Souls games. Ah, Flask of Crimson Tears. So now we can heal. Oh, Flask of Seraline Tears. So we have Crimson Tears and Seraline Tears. The Cave of Knowledge lies below. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to jump down there. Are you a ghost? Brave Tarnish, take the plunge. Oh, come on. <laughs> of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Okay. I... <laughs> I want to take the plunge, but the game already trolled me once. Oh, I can turn the, the HUD on and off? I can't see anything. I think I'm just running into the wall. Is there a way to get a faster dodge? Do I just have to equip like lighter armor or do i have to level up a stat like dexterity or something i guess that's something i'll find out ah i don't know what's in here but i <laughs> i'm supposed to take the plunge aren't i hmm should i go this way or should i take the plunge Ooh, what is this touch grace Lost Grace Discovered. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is the, um, the bonfire. So I can rest here. Ah, there's time in this game. It's early day. You can pass the time. Allocate the number of uses in each of your flasks. You have a set total of maximum flask uses. You can decide how many of those uses are for the HP replenishing flask of Crimson Tears and how many are for the FP replenishing flask of Ceruline Tears. Okay. So FP I'm assuming is for skills or magic or something. Ah, uh, casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. Well, I'm not gonna use a staff and I don't know exactly what a sacred seal is. So I'm not gonna do this right now. I think, I think sorceries and stuff can be on a later playthrough. I feel like since this is my first FromSoft game, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna smack things with a big weapon. Why don't I actually put four charges in the health flask and then i'm going to leave cuz i don't i don't really need to heal or anything i haven't taken any damage let me take this cooperative multiplayer will begin once you've been summoned by a player from another world you'll take the role of an ally and your objective is to defeat the area boss I actually am going to be doing co-op on this playthrough because I thought it would be really fun. I've never done anything like that on my channel so far, so I felt like playing this game with a friend would just be a cool experience, but I'm going to kind of get my bearings on my own first, and then I'm going to start playing with friends. What's in here? Nothing? Oh. Okay. 
It's an elevator. I was gonna say, that was a very, like, ominous looking circle. So where am I going? I'm already so far away from where I was supposed to take the plunge. I guess I'm not taking the plunge. Okay. Oh, I, for some reason, <gasps> that's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting the door to open upwards. That like threw me for a loop, but this is beautiful. We're in Limgrave. Yeah, this color palette is so different from the Souls games. It's a nice change of pace. I say that like I've played a million Souls games, but I haven't. Okay, here's another campfire. Okay, so we've got another Site of Grace. There's a shiny thing here. Acquire materials. Summoning pools. In each area you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. Okay, interesting. Are you a friend or a foe? I love your horse, sir. This area is so pretty. I love the colors and this tree is gorgeous. I kind of feel like this guy is an enemy and I'm kind of scared to fuck with him. I don't even know if I should be here or if I should have jumped down earlier. Is there like a sneak? Yeah, there is a sneak. I don't know what this does. Oh, that just resets my camera. Okay, I'm trying to get my, oh wait, no, that's a lock on. Okay, R3 is lock on. I'm, I'm learning the controls. Oh, I think he saw the fuck out of me. You see the way he just stopped and stared at me. Oh wait, this guy is, okay. This guy is not to be fucked with. Okay, okay, I died, I died. <laughs> I wonder if I am even supposed to be here right now. Okay, Tree Sentinel is no joke. Upon dying, you'll be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. You'll drop any runes in your possession at the site of your death. Okay, so runes are basically the souls. If you die again before reclaiming those runes, they'll be lost forever. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the lost runes. Ah, uh, okay, so it shows me where the runes are. Okay, so I don't have the map unlocked yet. Can I just... Oh, I can just travel at any point. So why don't I actually travel back to the graveyard? Because I don't think I even have any runes to begin with. So it doesn't matter if I lose them. So let's go back to the graveyard and I wanna see what happens if I take that plunge. I came back, kind sir. I don't, it doesn't actually look that far. So I don't even, yeah, that's not even gonna hurt me actually. Is this gonna hurt me? No, okay, that wasn't far enough for damage. I feel like this is the way I'm actually supposed to go. Okay, resting in a site of grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. It'll also refill your sacred flasks. However, most of the enemies you defeated will be revived. Okay, I'm familiar with this concept for sure. Even though I haven't played the Dark Souls games other than like a few hours of them. I have played other Souls-like games. One of my favorite games of all time is Hollow Knight. So I am familiar with the whole campfire system and restoring your health at the expense of repopulating the world with all the enemies you already killed. Confine Sight of Grace by going where light converges. I love the, the theme of like light and dark in this game. Okay, so let's touch this grace. I don't have to rest at it because, again, I have full health. Actually, how do I? 
Check my HUD again. Yeah, okay, I just press triangle. Okay, this definitely is the way I was supposed to go. I got too curious what was in the other direction, but I'm sure that's something that happens a lot in these games. Yeah, it's giving me the tutorial, so I definitely was supposed to go this way. It fucked! Ooh, there's another one. Does he see me yet? Yeah, he does. Oh, strong attack. Oh, fuck. He hit me. I'm so bad. I'm just swinging wildly now. Okay. So, shield, parry, and then light and strong. Guarding. Let's try the guard. Okay. So, guard is helpful for sure. And then dodging, okay. Yeah, that I, I already figured out as well. Okay, I can jump. I don't know if I figured that out already or not. Ooh, the blues and greens are really pretty here. <laughs> oh my God. Can I get up to him? I don't think so. I think he's just there to try and fuck me up. <gasps> he hit me! Okay, triangle plus L1 or R1 wield with two hands. So... Ah! Interesting! I didn't mean to do that. Fuck! Okay, okay, I'm already, I'm already fucking up the controls. Okay. Yeah? 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 You wanna go? You wanna fucking fight? Okay. I promise I will learn the controls. I swear to God I will. I don't know that I want to two hand too much right now though. Oh, I don't know the timing on the parries yet. <laughs> I, uh, I got a little too overzealous there. I thought I could do more than I was ready for. Oh god, okay, you have a bow. Well, fuck you, dude. Oh, <laughs> I missed. Oh, I'm, I'm up here. That's the guy that was shooting at me before. Okay, well, he's dead now. Skills. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. L2 is skill. Ah, okay. So parrying is my skill. And I don't know how to do it yet. <laughs> that guy has a really slow wind up. I need to learn the timing of the parries. Okay, crouching, I, I already figured out, especially effective in tall grass. We're playing Pokemon now. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage. Well, causing more damage is something I want for sure. Okay, here's the tall grass. Let's go catch a Pokemon. R1 near a back turned enemy, critical hit. I don't know if I did that right or not. I mean, I pressed R1, but I don't know if it did what it was supposed to or not. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. 
Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Bam! <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. That was cool. Okay, so I can do like a big, oh, that's fun. And that's like a, okay. Like a charged up heavy attack. I'm learning, I'm learning. Stakes of Marika. Upon dying, you'll be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there's a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Okay, so these are like checkpoints. That's very cool. Ah, so I wonder if they give you checkpoints like before bosses and you can choose to just revive yourself near the boss instead of having to walk all the way back? That would be awesome. Let's traverse the mist. Oh shit, fuck. Shit, fuck. You can perform a counter attack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Okay, guard counters make it easy to break an enemy's stance. So if I block an attack and then hit R2, I can do a counter. Oh, fuck, how? I was, oh, I was blocking you. Oh my god, that dodge is very slow. Okay, okay, we got this though. Okay, okay. I unequipped my helmet and my gloves. And that gives me a faster roll. So I'm assuming that I can increase my stats to give me a better equip load. But right now, I've got 49.8 as my max equip load. So when I remove the couple things, I'm on a medium load. Let's see if this helps me. Obviously, I'm gonna take hits a little bit harder, but I think Having a faster dodge is gonna help me very much. I know some people say like don't dodge in Souls games, but <laughs> it's what I'm used to and at the very least I think having a slightly faster dodge will help me near the beginning of the game. So let's attempt this. Yeah, that feels so much better. Yeah, that feels way better. Okay, I still got hit. I still got hit, but it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. I need to not get greedy. Get a hit, jump out. I failed. Okay, I still got hit. I still got hit. Okay, 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 wait. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm learning how to play. Nope, that didn't work. I wanted to see if I could actually, like, parry that, but I think you can't on, like, that kind of run forward attack. He, oh my god, he will follow through on that. Yeah, I don't think I can dodge that one. That one I think has to be a block. Oh, I killed him, okay. Enemy felled, obviously that was the little easy baby enemy, but I think that helped me learn because that kind of like lunge forward attack, I tried to dodge, but he follows through on it. So it definitely seems like there's some attacks that just won't be dodgeable and you'll have to like block or parry them. But I also think that part of the Souls games is just learning the mechanics of each boss by trial and error. So I don't think I did too bad trying to figure out how to fight him, even though it was just a little baby enemy. 
Okay, so I gotta jump down here. Oh. I'm back here. Does that mean... Wait, was I supposed to go that way? Let me double check, actually. Ah, that's how you do that backstab. I think I wasn't close enough before. Okay, I walked all the way back just to make sure there wasn't a way that I could go somewhere else. There's definitely no other way to go. So, my only way is back where I was before. So, let's head back that way. Actually, I can just travel to that campfire or the, uh, the site of grace. Oh my god, wait, there's a person here. I didn't even see this person before, unless they weren't here before. Oh yes. Tarnished, are we? Come yes, to we the are. Lands between for the Elden Ring. Hmm? My character's so pretty. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. All right, so we have to find a maiden, and I'm assuming the maiden is going to be the lady that was on the horse. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me. Vare. Take care to listen. Okay, I will listen. With grace, the golden light that gives life to you, tarnished. I'm vaguely familiar, yes. Hold its golden rays, pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Okay, so follow the light. Indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff. Castle Stormvale. Oh, decrepit demigod. Godric the Grafted. Godric the Grafted. So we've got a boss up in that castle. The first demigod. It's time you set off, I should think. Okay. To Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. Okay. So let's head over in that direction. I am going to rest quickly. Let's gather some fruits. Always good to have a nice snack along the road. I wonder if I should try to fuck with this guy again. I mean, if I die, the fire's right there. Where is he at? He's right there. Can I sneak behind him? Don't turn around. Please don't turn around. He's definitely going to turn around. 110% he's going to turn around and fuck me over. I'm running into rocks. Maybe he's not going to turn around. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, fuck me then. Fuck me then. Fuck me then, okay. Mayhaps I'm just meant to run past him. <laughs> but I wanted to try one more time. Okay, let's go collect our runes, but this time I'm just gonna run straight past him. Because I'm assuming that this is the type of game where sometimes you're going to encounter enemies that are, like, 
too difficult for you at your current level in the open world. You know what? No, let's try once more. I'm probably still gonna get destroyed. Oh wait, no, because I want my runes. I don't want to try again if I don't have my runes. Although I'm sure the meager amount that I have is really not that worth it, but oh fuck me. Oh! Excuse me? Buddy, please. I'm just trying to exist. I'm just trying to exist. I just want to exist. I just want to exist. I just want to- okay, my runes are gone anyway. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I do have to fight him because I tried to walk through and he chased me. Okay, so I don't have any runes anymore and I'm assuming without the maiden I couldn't have spent them anyways, so I'm not gonna be that upset about like the tiny little amount I just lost. I wonder if I can like sneak past him or if I really am just meant to fight him. Hello, sheep. <gasps> <laughs> did, that, did that sheep just do a fucking dodge roll? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, so sheep know how to dodge roll in this universe. Ruin fragment. What's over this way? Okay, so I can go off down here too. So I can just walk past that guy. This place is so pretty. Look at it. Ah, this is beautiful. Okay, there's light over here. Is this another site of grace? Ah, Church of Ella. Okay. That looks like... Okay, those are more enemies over there, but they're not on horses. Let me look at my map. I'm over here. There's a lot of places I can go right now, but... I'm gonna talk to this guy over here that's, for some reason, dressed like Santa. Let's go talk to Santa. You're tarnished. I can see it, and I can also see that you're not after my throat. I'm not after your throat. Purchase a little something. Okay, you're a merchant. Carly, purveyor of fine goods. Santa, I don't think you're supposed to be here. I think you should be in the North Pole. Let's ask him about I himself. Nomadic people selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Okay. What's your you recommendation? Know, you spare the rooms. That's interesting. We can ask for recommendations. A crafting, a crafting kit. kit. A crafting kit. I'm sorry, a crafting basic kit. Basic items on your own. Essential, really. If you intend to survive out here for any duration, the kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom accounts, after all. Okay, let's see how much that is. Okay, I need 300 runes for the crafting kit. Or no, I need, yeah, 300. Sorry, I don't know what I'm looking at. I kind of want this chain armor because I think this is not as heavy of armor as what I'm wearing, but obviously I don't have the money for that right now. Goodbye for now. I will come back when I have 300 runes and I'll get the crafting kit. Ah, so if you're standing at the site of grace, the light kind of goes in the direction that you're meant to travel. So that's what they meant by like following the light. Cause I'm supposed to go this way. Is there anything over here though? A turtle! A 
Actually, I think you're a tortoise. I know which direction I'm supposed to go, but... What is this? You're a bad thing. You are a bad thing. I missed. Can I fight these fucking bugs? have a reason to be over here. I just want to explore everything. There's an enemy over here. Oh, there's a handful of them. I just want to explore. Got some mushrooms. There's nothing. Oh, there is something here. There's a door. And another site of grace. Stormfoot Catacombs. I have a feeling I'm really not meant to be here. Let me talk to this ghost. A proper death means returning to the Erd tree. Have patience until the time comes and the roots call to you. I really feel like I shouldn't be here. <gasps> you bitch! Oh my god, oh my god, what are you? Okay, I missed, I missed, I missed. You got, you got fucking arrows. Ah, oh, shit. We killed, well, we didn't kill each other, but we both hit each other. <laughs> that kind of scared me, I'll be honest. Um, I already have to go back and rest. But that's fine because I have no reason to go back in that room again, even though those enemies will respawn. So let's back out. Fuck you guys. I really probably should not be here. This is probably a terrible idea. Oh, there's one of those statues. There's a door here, and there's a way down there. Can I open this? No, it must open from the other side. Tell me this isn't a boss arena. There's gotta be something in this room, right? There's not? I don't trust anything right now. I don't trust anything. I hear something. Oh my God. Excuse me?
Oh no. Oh no. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. I'm surprised there's no way to sprint. Ah. Uh, you can sprint. Okay. That would have been very helpful to know. It's okay. I know now. And I didn't lose that much, to be honest. This fucker is gonna be back. Oh, wait. I still have a ways to go until I get to that fucker. Wait. There was a guy in here! Ah, shit! Fuck! Christ, Lord! Oh my god, these things are fucking me. I keep missing! Why don't I go back? Died in the fire. I kind of forgot that I could heal. Oh, so you guys are statues. Head cat. Oh, God. Okay, you hurt, you hurt, you hurt. Already out of potions. Okay, blocking is good against these guys. Blocking is good. With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. Okay. So that was worth coming over here. And was this really the only thing that was here? I don't think there's another way that I can go. Oh wait, I can go farther. I can go over here. I don't know if this is even the proper button to find like a hidden wall. But I'm still trying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lever. Pull lever. What did that do? Somewhere a heavy door has opened. I bet you... Oh god, I heard things! Block is great for these guys. Block is great for those guys. Oh god, there's more than one. There's more than one. Just run. Because I know there's a Sight of Grace up here. Now I've got my flasks back.
And let's go see where that door leads. Right here is the door. And I've got the statue. So I'm assuming... Ah, fuck. Is this gonna... Oh, no. This is a boss. And this is probably not a boss that I should be fighting right now. But... I only have 400, um... What are they called? Runes. Can I... No, I still can't travel. Why don't I do this? I'm gonna go back. And I'm gonna buy that crafting thing. The crafting kit. With the money I just got. The runes I just Wait, got. Weren't you... Well, you're back. Care to buy something? Okay. So I got the crafting kit. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. Oh, I didn't even pick this up. I have a smithing stone now. But I don't have enough money to increase my weapons anyways. Okay, let's go back to that campfire. I'm gonna keep calling them campfires, but that's really not what they are. <gasps> You're cool! You're like a... Oh my god. I was too busy looking at how cool it was. You're like a... Like a big robot cat? You spit fire that I have to dodge! Okay, okay. I can't even dodge fast enough for that. Holy shit. I wonder if I can use my shield to get rid of the fire. Okay. To be quite honest, I'm probably not supposed to be fighting this thing yet, but I'm gonna try a couple times. So interestingly, oh shit, fuck. Okay, 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 I understand. Okay, okay, I understand, I understand. Jumpy move, you can dodge fairly easily. It's pretty slow. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I said I could dodge it easily but I've made a mistake. I was drinking. Okay, shield can block the fire. Shield can block the fire. I don't have any flasks left. But that's okay. I didn't expect to win on this one because I'm still learning how this thing fights. Okay, shield didn't block the fire like I wanted it to. I'm dead. The shield seemed like it blocked the fire before, but I wonder if I was too close. I think we can fight this, though. I really think we can. Okay. I got a little too greedy. Okay, I got to Greedy, I missed. 
Okay, the shield can block it, but it still does some damage. I wonder if I can hide behind those pillars. That was not what I wanted at all. Fucking Christ, fuck. Oh, he can smash the pillars. He can smash the pillars. Okay, that's the most dangerous attack. Okay, that fucked me. I knew I was, yep. I got caught on the pillar. I think I can understand the addiction that comes with games like this, where you just wanna keep trying the boss like one more time. Like, I don't even know if I really should be here right now and I'm still like, let me just try one more time, you know? Fuck. I tried to get my runes. Maybe I shouldn't worry about it because I literally only have 169. on that one. Watchdog later. I definitely think that boss is doable 100%. But, um, since it's my first time playing the game, I don't want to spend my entire first episode fighting one boss. So I'm going to move forward and I am definitely going to come back to him later because I definitely think we can do it. So let's continue the way we're supposed to go. Are you an enemy? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. You're definitely an enemy too. So let's get a nice, oh, I didn't get the backstab on that. That's okay, I don't need it. It's over there. Ooh, another enemy. And you are protecting something. I 
I love the way I like, ooh, those are like some throwing knives. I love the way I shot him through like all of the stuff in front of him. I just broke everything. Oh, I got another helm, which I don't need because I, I really want my medium roll. The heavy roll is a little too slow for me. What is this? Statue? I guess I can't do anything with the statue. Wow, this, this world is vast. Where am I right now? Okay, I'm over here. This place is beautiful. I'm gonna try and stay a little bit on track. I don't know how well that's actually gonna go for me because I have a feeling I'm gonna get super distracted, but I kind of think that that's a good thing. Where's the guard? Right here. Give me that backstab. Okay, there's another guy over here. There's a handful of them. I'm sorry to disturb your rest by killing you. Is that the way I'm supposed to go? I assume so. I have a map. Okay. A new map has been found. Ooh. The map is pretty. Oh god. I was looking at the map, you fuck. Oh no. No. He just used a horn. Everybody is on top of me. Just go. Just run. Is it the maiden? Greetings. Hello. Traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Melina. Oh, she's pretty. She's very I pretty. Offer you an accord. I'll take your accord. Does this mean I can finally level up my stats? Have you heard of the finger maidens? They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you I am afraid. Our maidenless. I can play the role of maiden. Turning runes into strength. To aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you. I would love to take you with me. To the foot of the Erd Tree. Who would refuse her? Of course I'll accept. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral steed whistle. Okay, we've got our steed now. Use it. 
to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Yeah, Torrent is the steed. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Of course I'll respect him. So now I can level Shall up I finally. To strength. I don't know if I and even have enough, but... Upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts. Does it tell me what they do? Okay. Vigor increases health. Mind increases FP. Endurance increases stamina and max equip load. That sounds very good. And then strength, of course, is attack power. Dexterity is also attack power, but it's probably for different types of weapons. Strength would be obviously stronger weapons, whereas dexterity would be faster weapons. Is what I'm going to assume. I'm assuming intelligence, faith, and arcane all have something to do with magic. But I'm not gonna worry about magic in this playthrough. Um, but I don't have enough to actually level anything up yet. But I think I would like to level up endurance a bit. I think I'll focus on endurance, strength, and vigor, maybe? I'm not really sure yet what's considered like a good build since I'm not super familiar with the Dark Souls series, but I definitely want endurance to help with my max equip load and my stamina. And I definitely want strength and I definitely want vigor for the health. But I can't do anything right now. Okay, I kind of want to go fuck with these guys again. Oh, fucking shit face. Ah, shit. Fuck me. I need to block more. I definitely need to block more. Oops. Oh my god, the way that tree up there was shaking, I thought it was like an enemy. Look at this, it looks like it's dancing. This tree is like getting down. That tree is getting down. Where is the guy with the horn? Cause I don't want that bitch alerting everybody again. This is the bitch with the horn. Get fucked! very slowly. Oh, shit! Ow! I had my... I had my shield up, but I wasn't facing him enough. Alright, I gotta be extra careful around the guy with the horn. I learned my lesson about that the hard way. Okay, 
Okay, that guy's going that way. Horn guy's going this way. Get fucked, horn guy. Okay, let's wait for this guy to go by. I am a master of stealth. I don't know if anyone ever told you, but I'm a master of stealth. That's not true at all, but... But I'm doing pretty decent right now with the stealth thing. I don't know when this guy's gonna turn around, but he's probably gonna turn around and fuck me up! Yes, he is. Oh, fuck, there's two of you. without being able to hear any sound. Oh god. I forgot you were there, buddy. I feel like this guy has, like, hurt my honor. So I want to kill him. Go backstab. The guy with the horn. This guy saw me. Ah, shit. Shit, fuck. I'm gonna head. Oh, he's got a dog. Fuck me. I don't want to hurt the dogs. I don't want to hurt the dogs. They're so pretty. Oh my God. Redemption. No shit, fuck. No, no. We tried to do like the same thing at the same time. Nope. Jesus. This guy does not play around. Come on, how does he keep doing it before I do it?
I don't have any more health potions. This is annoying. I don't care about literally any of these guys. I just want to get that stupid spear guy. Oh, my horse goat is so cute. And I can double jump. Oh my god. This is cool. Wait, there's another site of grace over here? Oh, fuck! That's not what I wanted. Well, I might as well rest here to replenish that. Okay. Mounted combat is cool. Where's the guy on the horse over here? Oh! I can leap off. Let's go challenge this guy on the horse. Oh no! He jumped over me. I can jump over him too. Oh my god, I got stuck on top of him. leveled up. Let's see if that's enough so that I can equip my my um yeah so now I can equip my gauntlets and I'm still a medium load. So I'm gonna try to stay at a medium load as much as I can because I need that fast dodge. I want this spear guy dead. I really want him dead. But I feel like I should kill that guy first. But there's so many people in here and I don't want to hurt the dogs. Oh shit, fuck. Can I get you over here? Come here. Ah shit, I got both of their attention. That was the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Okay, will you chase me further than the other guy will? Yes, you will. Okay. Come here. Jesus fucking... I do like a parry on this guy. I feel like spears cannot be parried. 
I don't know if that's true or not, but when you're like stabbing someone forward, I feel like parrying that is not like possible. Should I try it? I got scared. I hate this guy. Fight this guy. Yeah, you can parry him. That's what I have to do. Because otherwise, there's no opening. Okay, I didn't do it. I didn't do it right. It's okay. Or I just did it wrong. Uh, I pressed the parry button. I don't think I did it at the right time. One more try. Now I know what I have to do. Let's just get rid of the guy with the horn. I don't even want to take the chance. Nope. What did I say? Okay, you know what? Screw it. Goodbye, y'all. Oh my god, look at them all. <gasps> okay, bitch. Let's let's just let's uh let's reset things for a moment. How much do I need to level up again? Oh, I have enough again. I think my endurance is okay for now. I want to I think I want to go for strength. I really apologize if I'm like doing everything wrong as far as stats. I just know endurance, strength, and vigor are what I feel like I should be focusing on. I don't want to have my halberd out right now. Oh my god, I missed. I'm gonna bait him over this way. That way I don't have to fight him at the same time as the other shield guy. Cause he definitely chases me further than the other guy does. Okay. I don't think I could parry that one either that or I timed it poorly. I didn't time it right. I really didn't. I need to learn. I need to like internalize the timing. There we go. Oh. 
I didn't get the- oh, fuck. Ah, that little sound. I bet you that's like a parry indicator or something? No, don't you- oh, fuck. up on fighting this guy because I knew I needed to learn how to fight him if I'm gonna get anywhere in this game. Learning the parries seems like it's gonna be very, very important. But as long as I can learn that, I think I'll be okay for the most part. I'm sorry. Oh, he saw me. Oh no, he forgot about me already. Oh, fuck. Whatever. Oh, you hit me? Okay, I might as go, I might, I might as well go rest over here and then continue forward. I'm not going to play too much longer, actually, but I am going to go at least a little further because I feel like I've been super sidetracked already, but that's good. I feel like that's what you want in a game like this. Okay, I have 700, I need 847. Ah, oh, why did I do that? Okay, rest again. Take two. <laughs> My bad. Okay, there's a guy over there. Is there anyone else anywhere else? Oh shit, he saw me. Oh, they all saw me. God damn, okay. I'm stuck, I'm so stuck. First line of business is definitely getting rid of these archers. Okay, or not, or not, or not, or not. What about just running? That sounds like a good thing to do. That sounds like a great thing to do. Running sounds perfect. At least until I can get another spot to rest or something. No. I actually hate you, sir. I hate all of you. Okay, okay, okay. I see how this is going. I see how this is going. I do feel like because the game gave you the steed at this point, you're meant to just blast through here on your horse. Yeah, because your horse can run over top of those. God damn. Yeah, I think that's what you're supposed to do. The golden seed. 
That's, uh, for upgrading your weapons, right? I remember that. Um. Wolves. I don't want to hurt the wolves. Okay, there's enemies up ahead. Hold on, let me get my bearings on where I am. Oh, I still have wolves coming after me. I'm sorry if I, like, wasn't supposed to run past all those enemies, but I feel like that's what the game wanted from me. Or at least, like, it was a suggestion. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to heal. The way the sheep just roll is so hilarious to me. There's a giant there, but I don't think I want to fight it until I get another sight of grace. Because I'd like a closer respawn. I can hear him being pissed off. I feel like this area looks like something that would have a sight of grace. Oh no. Oh no. It's hard to aim on horseback. I don't want to hurt wolves, but if I'm forced to, I will. Are you a creature? You are! Oh, those are just the Roa fruits. I am surprised I haven't found another site of grace around here. far from where I want to be. Okay, let's keep going this way. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Why don't I use a flask? Uh, I can't take my horse here? Ah, I can't take my horse here. Invaded! Come on! I have offline, um, turned off right now, so I'm assuming this invader is like an NPC invader. You bitch! Come on! Oh, that, does that hurt me to stand in the lava? I'm sure it does. Fuck. Fuck me. God. I think the invader concept is one thing, like... I don't think I'm a super fan of. I know that that's like a staple of the FromSoft games, so I'm not gonna complain about something that like they've been doing forever, you know? But personally, like if I'm in the groove of something and then some like 
jerk just shows up to, like, ruin my life. I hate it. more than it helps me. Talk to Melina. This tiny golden aura is the grace of the earth tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now it is all that guides you. Also, I hear you can I love her. You, the rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Upon the cliff, in Castle Stormvale, is a shard-bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. So I have to see if the grace leads me that way? To see if I'm like worthy. Cliff, okay, I I already heard that. Then shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share I don't think I have yeah, I don't have enough because I died. Can I? Oh. I can jump up this way. Stone sword key. Everyone's oh, there's a person here. Been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. For me. Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. To Did the you spider. Know if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalis. Okay, so there's gonna be a spider you're boss somewhere. About it. Do you have anything else you're to say? Alone, I am all on no, my own, all kind of. Castle. I have Melina. By the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one. We did get enticed by the guy in the white mask, but we're not trying to become one with the spider. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off, or legs, or your head. Yeah, I don't want any of my limbs being cut off. I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. Girl, why do you want your limbs to be cut off? Can you take this little one along with you? 
Spirit jellyfish ashes. someone braver than myself. So I have a jellyfish spirit. Spirits look rather fondly upon you. It will be glad of your company, I think, the little one. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormbell Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? Girl, I think there's something wrong here. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, tell okay. me I'm finally getting the hang She's, she's all exhausted of her dialogue. So let's take my steed. I would like to get back my, um, runes. I keep forgetting what they're called. Not gonna fuck with the giant. Just here for the runes. Okay, here they are. Let's grab my runes and let's go in. He invaded me again. Does that just always happen at this spot? That's not the button I wanted to press. God, you fucking fuckbag. is not a great. Maybe I can do a parry. Oh, come on. I thought I parried him. I heard the sound. Okay. I get it. I suck. Yeah, that leaves me too open. Anybody. All I wanted was to fight, to fight as a warrior to the last. So why, why, oh guidance of grace, will this door not open? Ah, is that the guy who just invaded me? Fuck you. So yeah, it seems like that is scripted because it teaches you how to do like the the PvP. Is this not where I'm supposed to be? Why don't I Go back here. And then I'm actually gonna go forward instead of going off to the right. I think forward is where I'm actually supposed to go. And I have enough runes now that I can level up again. I think I'll do, I'll do another endurance because my strength is already at 15. And my vigor is already at 15, so let's do another endurance.
and then I'm going to run forward. And the next Sight of Grace I find... Ooh, there's enemies up there. The next Sight of Grace I find... I'm gonna rest at, and I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna sneak past, because that's a lot of enemies clumped together. I'm assuming, like, sneaking is considered a genuine way of play, since they have, like, the tall grass and stuff around you to hide in. So I hope nobody yells at me for sneaking around. I feel like, um... I feel like sneaking is, is considered a legitimate way to play the game. Oh, did you see me? You're like a little dung beetle. Wait, is this like one of those things that like gives you good items? Oh my fuck, what, did, what just happened? Oh my god, okay. I see. I understand. I understand. Somebody's shooting shit at me. Oh my god, okay, I see. Listen, I was in the middle of reading a fucking dialogue. Y'all be doing me dirty. Do not use your horn. Does, does this guy have a horn too? No, he has a hammer. And somebody's shooting at me over there. Oh god, there's another guy. There's another guy. There's another guy. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. somewhere. Here he is. Oh no, that's not the guy with the bow and arrow. You have the bow. Okay. You're down. There's another guy somewhere. Oh, there's another guy with... Okay. You right there. somebody else somewhere, wasn't there? Maybe not. Okay. Let's keep going. Keep heading forward. Somebody up here. What's this? Just for decoration. That's just for decoration, too. Get fucked. I did everything wrong there. Oh god. That's not the button I wanted to press. I'm still learning. Okay, and there's a sight of grace here. Okay. Okay. Let's rest. Do I have enough? I do. I think I'll do one more endurance, and then I'm gonna go with strength and vigor next time. 
Let's spend our runes. And I think... I'll be done for today. What's up here? Yeah, there's a whole open area up here. I'm heading straight up into the castle. So, this seems like a good place to stop. Next time, I'm gonna go up into the castle, and I'm assuming that means I'm gonna face the first, like, major boss of the game, the first demigod. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna take a lot of fighting my way through the castle to even get to him, but I'm excited to see the first major boss. I do also want to go back and fight the watchdog boss. I wanted to actually keep fighting him right when I found him, but I knew that, like, there had to be a way for me to unlock, like, leveling up my stats and stuff like that, so... I wanted to go ahead and do that first before I went back to that boss. So I think maybe next episode I'll go back and fight that watchdog boss again. And then I'm also gonna continue forward into the castle and see if I can make my way to the first demigod. Honestly, I wasn't really sure at all what to expect from this game considering I never really played FromSoft games before. But I'm having a good time. I think it's it's obviously challenging already, and I know it's only going to get more challenging. But I do think that it seems to be kind of like a fair level of challenge that requires you to kind of study the enemies and learn how they fight. And learn as well how to use your own skills properly. Like learning to parry was the biggest help against that spear guy. So I think the game is very fair in the fact that, at least so far, as long as you kind of sit and learn how to fight properly, it seems like you'll do okay. And obviously that's something I definitely need to learn because I don't play FromSoft games, but I think I'll get there. I'm already starting to slowly get the hang of things a little bit more, so I think the more I play the game, the more I'll get used to how to fight. And I think I'm really gonna enjoy this game. So all that being said, next episode we are gonna start right back here making our way up this castle. And I'm excited to see what a major boss looks like in this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed it. Check out my Kofi link in the description if you'd like to support the channel. And hit subscribe to become a fledgling and join the clan. I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye!